All right, we had AEW and NXT tonight. NXT was a go-home show for two nights of TakeOver, which are coming up next week. And AEW, Return of the Inner Circle, a bunch of other stuff as well. And in the opener, Christian versus Kazarian in Christian's first match. And uh, By the way, by the way. I thought both shows were really good tonight. I thought this might have been the best night um, for, for the two shows combined. I've seen, I thought NXT was tremendous as far as like some of the packages. The, um, the Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly thing was really good. The interviews were focused. The promotion was focused uh, across the board. The wrestling, um, I can't say that there was any great matches on the show, but the promotion and the, the show itself was very focused. Um, AEW had some a couple of very good, actually three really good matches, and a lot of people coming back, and um, a lot of surprises. And the one thing about the three good matches were is they were three entirely different, completely different style matches, whereas when I watch NXT, and this is also one of the reasons I think that, that they kind of lost this war, is that... Everyone kind of wrestled the same style. And I mean, I think that the, the, the you know, the difference, the, the, this is like the simplest way to tell the difference between AEW and, and NXT and WWE in general, is that in WWE, they take guys, they have a bunch of square holes. And if you're around, they, fit you, they try to fit you into your square hole. And in AEW, if you're around, they make the whole round. And you do what you do best. Like Laredo Kid comes in. He's fantastic. They don't go, okay, now that you're in the United States, you've got to do American style. And now you've got to learn American style until you can get on television, as opposed to um, Laredo Kid coming in and doing the same shit that he did to get over in the first place. And that's when he ends up being good, whereas if he was in WWE, he'd spend six months being reprogrammed to learn how to do it right when he was already doing it right because it was working for him. And by then, you'd be so confused, and they'd be telling him, don't do this and don't do that. And you would get Laredo Kid, and you'd, you'd be going like, boy, he used to be really good, but he's not doing anything. And you'd be sitting there doing, like, long chin locks. So, anyway, that's, you know, that was kind of like the thing that I was, um, you know. I mean, somebody actually wrote that today that I read, and it was like, oh, this is like the best analogy there is. It's like, you know, because... Um, I mean, and, and even even Paul Levesque has even said this before, was that, like, well, when they come here, we've got a playbook, whether it's right or wrong, you have to work within our playbook. And when I watch with Tony Khan, it's like, our playbook is whatever you do, the best that you can do, and and go do it. And I think that that is, that, like, on Wednesday night, that, I think, was among, there's many, many, many reasons why it went the way it did. But that was one of the reasons, is that, like, I'm not a fan of freaking Legos on the floor and blah, blah, blah. But it was, but it worked in that match, and it was the only match. If they did, like, five matches with the freaking Legos, well, they wouldn't do it because it would be stupid. But one match, um, you know, I mean, we just had thumbtacks, now we have Legos. I think it's too much, but whatever, it still worked, you know. Um, Christian Cage match was like a completely different style what they usually do in, in AEW. If it was in WWE, it would be a good match, but it would be just another good match. In AEW, it was cool because it was different. And, um, you know, because they don't do that style. It was actually somebody else's style, but he didn't say, ah, oh, that's their style, don't do it. Because, because that would be, again, that would be taking away what he does well. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio... We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.